What's going on everybody? Bryce, your favorite AMP IA and part 147 instructor back again with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about tools. More specifically, I've done two videos on this already, tools I use as an IA and general tools that you'll need as an aircraft mechanic. But in this video, I'm gonna tell you more about the brands that I like to use for specific things such as safety wire pliers, wrenches, so on and so forth. So as always, stick around and I'm gonna get into that. So part of the reason I'm making this video is I've actually gotten a lot of questions on the other two videos I did on tools about brands and more specifically, you know, which band brands are best. Can I buy my tools from Harbor Freight? How do you feel about Snap-on and these kinds of things? So I'd like to address that. And I'm gonna start with probably one of the most common, or not the most common, the, uh, the tool that I have the most of, or the brand that I have the most of in my personal toolbox, which is Craftsman. And it's not that I have Craftsman because uh, I love Craftsman, it's because when I first started as an aircraft mechanic, that was kind of all I could afford. I had just put myself through school. I didn't have a lot of extra money. Um, Craftsman had the same warranties and a lot of the same stuff that Snap-on and other tool manufacturers have at about a fourth the price. So I was like, well, I'm gonna get a full set of, Sna of Craftsman tools. And actually my dad and mom bought me a, a socket set, a 250 piece socket set, which I will say this, if you're buying a toolkit, it's not the size of the toolkit, it's what's in the toolkit. And my toolkit came with deep sockets, shallow sockets, quarter, three eighths. It came with a bunch of sets of Allen wrenches and different bits and things like that. And it was actually a really good set. It even came with some gear wrenches. But why I like having Craftsman tools now is it's not uncommon that to take off bolts like, I don't know, this, or something down in here, it's not uncommon in aviation that you might have to take that wrench to a die grinder and or a, a, a grinding wheel. And doing that with a snap-on wrench or something that was more expensive is going to hurt your heart just a little bit more than if you're just using a cheap Craftsman wrench. So I do have quite a lot of Craftsman in my toolbox. Another tool that I have quite a lot of is some of Harbor Freight's brand, which is US General. Um, or I forget the I forget the other name for it, but I do have some Harbor Freight tools, and those tools are things that I have had to weld or cut extensively to make work for something else. I did even have some Harbor Freight safety wire pliers for a while, and they did work well for about four years before they finally gave out. But I do have some Harbor Freight tools in there, um, just because they're so cheap. I don't feel bad about welding on a wrench or whatever it may be to make a special tool. The next brand that I'd like to talk about that I don't personally have any tools from is Sonic Tools. But Sonic Tools are something that we talk about here at the school. And I really like Sonic Tools um, because you can get shadowed kits. So they've got the foam that's cut out that all the tools pop down into and that helps you keep track of your tools. You can order it specifically for the drawer sizes in your box. I know they got some other stuff like that. I will say Sonic Tools is not sponsoring the channel. However, if anybody from Sonic Tools happens to be watching this and wants to reach out and do a giveaway or something with me, let me know or give me some tools, whatever it be. That would be, uh, that'd be awesome, guys. Um, but it is something that we talk to our students about here at the school, Sonic Tools, like I said. Um, they're really good quality tools. They were actually made by a retired aircraft mechanic. He said, you know what? I think I'm gonna open my own tool company and that's kind of how they came about. But like I said, what makes them really cool is they sell the shadowed kits with the tools so that they look nice and neat and pretty in your toolbox and they are of very high quality. Now, outside of that, obviously Snap-on, Mac, Matco, um, Cornwell. I do have some tools from each of them. I like, I know I got some, I got some snap ring pliers. I got some miscellaneous rich, wrenches and things like that. All obviously quality tools and the benefit of buying high value quality tools is that they will come with lifetime warranties. And if 15 years in the road, you down your road, you break that ratchet, you break that socket, you break whatever it is, you're going to get a warranty on it and you're gonna be able to replace it. Now, Snap-on also has an aviation department as well, but Snap-on, some of their ratchets have got like 64 teeth in them. So you just barely have to move the ratchet to get it to click to the next one. And it can make working on things a lot easier. So Snap-on, great brand, obviously. We all knew this. As far as safety wire pliers and some of your more special tools go, I would go to a website like Aircraft Tool Supply, ATS, or Aircraft Spruce. For safety wire pliers, I will die on the hill that Milbar is the best brand of safety wire pliers you can buy. A buddy of mine who is an IA has had a pair of Milbar safety wire pliers for almost 30 years and they still work. 
for a lot of my pneumatic tools, I go to Yard Store. I know that sounds weird, but Yard Store makes pneumatic drills, um, rivet guns, things like that. I also use USATCO and some of those. I will say though, when it comes time to buy like your rivet guns and some of these things, I'm not telling you not to spend a lot of money, but if you go to a place like Red Dot Tool Supply, there are people out there that refurbish used pneumatic tools and used, and used parts from Boeing or ST Engineering or wherever it may be. And they get these tools in bulk and they refurbish them, they rebuild them, and then they sell them to somebody. And it will be a great tool for the rest of your life. I recently got a uh, long arm short, sorry. I recently got a long arm 90 degree drill out of a bargain bin like that that somebody had thrown away from a government contract or something. And I actually got it for free just because the government was throwing it away. Never turn down free tools. There's lots of good stuff out there that Air Force bases and people throw away that still got a lot of life left in it that you can use for the cheap. That's where I got my first rivet gun. It lasted me quite a few years before it eventually became an air hammer because I lost all control of it through the trigger. So something to keep in mind. With all that said, I will end you with this. That. That sounded really aggressive. With all that said, I will finish with this. The tools do not make the mechanic, despite what a lot of people say. However, it is going to be a lot easier to do your job if you spend the money and you get quality tools. I will add that even when I buy sets of wrenches from Harbor Freight, I buy the more expensive ones because they fit better. Not every 3 8 is truly a 3 8 some of them are a 10 millimeter, so it's actually slightly bigger than 3 8 and you'll find yourself stripping aircraft hardware, which I will add, there are some weird sizes in aircraft hardware, such as 5 30 seconds, 7 30 seconds, and 11 30 seconds. So if you're buying wrench sets and toolkits, you wanna see if those wrenches are in there and understand that that might be something you will have to get. The final tool that's gonna be your biggest money is your toolbox. In my opinion, there is nothing wrong with going and getting a U.S. General Toolbox from Harbor Freight and saving yourself a bunch of money. Lots of mechanics do it. They make good quality toolboxes. You can use one. However, if you want to get a snap-on toolbox, you want to get, you know, a, a larger Cornwall box, whatever it is, you know, those are also going to be really, really, really nice. And you will find over your career what is worth the money, what is not worth the money, and ultimately what you'll end up throwing in the trash. So with all that said, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching. As once again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, join the Discord, go build something and be easy.